Hi everyone, I'm glad you're with me. I made a video that shows 13 items intended for 18 inch American Girl dolls or I guess any 18 inch doll to sit on and I sometimes find myself frustrated because I can't get the dolls to sit properly so going through these items I'm going to show you how it actually works for each doll and I did a ranking at the end so let me show you. We're starting with Isabel and Nikki's computer and desk chair set, specifically the chair, just so that you can get an idea of how the doll fits on the chair, if she fits on the chair, which clearly she doesn't. You can see the separation there and the fact that she's resting her feet on the floor just to be in the chair, so it doesn't work. This chair reminds me of the chair that came with the school activity table and chairs. She's headed to the craft room to try out this chair that went with the Our Generation school set here that you could see on the screen. So let's see how she does here. Let's observe her sitting down. So here we go. Just trying to sit her in the chair is not going to work. You have to sort of pick her up and bend her at her waist in order to position her in the chair. So if you do it that way, it seems to work out just fine. Now she's headed to Samantha's ice cream parlor. And we have a chair here. Let's see how well she does. I don't know. I guess if we set her. So this is what she looks like from the side. Let's try to prop her in here a little better. There we go. Well, obviously she's not really sitting down. She has her legs open, but nobody can see that. So let's get a look at her. There you go. Okay, that's not so bad. She had pants on, it would be acceptable. Now she's going to try out Julie's toilet. Let's see how this goes. Okay. I'm not too sure about this. everything over. Oh boy. I almost had her there. Okay. Oh, oh. Let's see. Okay. She's sitting on the toilet, but you could say she's not sitting since it's impossible. Um, she looks pretty happy, so I guess it's working for her. Here she is again. She's time traveling, and she's in Kit's attic bedroom, and she's going to try out Kit's desk chair. So let's see how this goes. Or sit on the bed until we get the chair out. A lot of things in this room. Okay, now let's try this chair. Imagine if we had to do all of this to sit in a chair. I would definitely injure myself. Okay. 
that wasn't too bad. At least we have her in the chair. Headed to Julie's room. The next thing that she's going to sit on is the vanity stool. Let's see how this works. I know she's not facing the right way, but I see it being a, a big challenge if I turn her around. But this sort of works as long as she's resting her heels on the floor. So I have this sofa that I found on eBay a long time ago. So I'm not even going to be able to give you a link to it. But let's take a look at her on here. You ready? Hmm. Not sure about this. Let's try. I mean, I've sat dolls on the sofa before, so this would be her position. Not so bad. Moving right along to the laundry and sewing room, we have a chair here that I purchased at Savers for $2.99. And she's going to test it out. Now check the shirt she's wearing. I bought this shirt and a couple of other shirts from Closet for Chloe. And she's had over 11,000 sales, which obviously is a testimony to her success. I'll include a link in the description so you can easily get to her store. I also did an Etsy unboxing video. And in that video, I feature this shirt and two other shirts I purchased from this shop. In case you want to check that out, I'm going to include a link here to that video on my channel so it's easy for you to get to. So here we go. Here she is. Seems like this chair works fine. Didn't wasn't too much effort to get her to sit in the chair. So I guess I would say that this chair works good for them, meaning 18 inch dolls. Check that shirt out again. My teenage daughter loved it and along with the other couple of shirts I purchased from the shop as well. Now we're headed to another room in my dollhouse that is already set up for Christmas. It's a scene that I love and I just like looking at it so I haven't taken it down for quite some time and we're gonna use Molly's uh, drop leaf table and chair set here to see how this works for her it, it's, it's a little difficult to get her to sit I guess in the chair but it seems to work not so bad she's balanced slightly be, uh, with her arm under the table and her foot on the leg but still works. Now we're headed to Molly's bedroom and we're going to try the stool that goes to the vanity set here. So let's see how this works out for us. I'm going to sit her down and fold her before I even put her up there because I know that would be difficult. So doing it that way, it worked. But clearly she's not facing the right way. She's back in the dollhouse and she's going to try the window bench in Caroline's parlor. So let's go over here and try that out. She looks so roughed up by the time I get her sitting down, <laughs> but it works. I guess she's a little bit uh, propped in there and resting her foot on the piano here, so it helps. Now let's try the piano bench. We have to really 
push the doll to bend her to get her to sit up straight so you'd need to put a little force into it and rest her hand on the piano and it works. Now we're headed to Kit's Kitchen and I also did a video on this kitchen tour and there's the thumbnail but I'll include a link to it in the description to make it easy for you. We're going to test out the Queen's Treasures chair that goes with the chair and table set here and see how well she does with this chair. Also, I'll include another link in the description to Queen's Treasures in the event you wanted to check the table and chair set out along with the many other things um, that they have. So you have to sort of push the doll in the chair here to get her to sit. But once you, you know, bend her a little bit and maneuver her, you could get her in the chair. It seems like it works out pretty well. She's not really balancing on anything and she's sitting there fine. So I would say that this chair was a success. Now that we tried everything out, let's rank each item, or at least let me rank each item and tell me what you think of my ranking in the comments. Here goes. I'm so glad to have you here with me to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so now and press that subscribe button. And also press the notification bell so that you get an alert when I post new videos. And one more thing, don't forget to press that like button to let me know that you like this video. Feel free to drop a comment and share your thoughts with me. And also, I have an Instagram account if you want to follow me there. Here's my handle on the screen and an Etsy shop. I have a lot of 18-inch uh, doll type items in my Etsy shop if you're interested in checking that out. And this video here that I have on the screen or at least the thumbnail on the screen is a video of my doll's craft room and this video seems to be very popular so I want to just point that out in the event you haven't seen it maybe you want to check it out until next time take care